right, welcome back, everyone. Today's episode is how to make... Oh, wait a second, the camera's broke. There we go. How to make equivalent fractions. And today's video is being brought to you in part by the Weiss Salmon Project. The Weiss Salmon Project coming November 7th. That's right, the Weiss Salmon Project is coming back to Weiss Elementary. And today's video is making equivalent fractions, and everybody knows that equivalent means equal. Very good. We are going to make equal fractions. And some of the key vocabulary that we have for today, we have numerator, which is the number on the top of the fraction, denominator, which is the number on the bottom, multiplier, it's the number we are going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by, and the divisor is just like the multiplier, but you divide. You divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number because everybody knows. Same to the bottom as the top. You would think we rehearsed that, ladies and gentlemen. You do the same to the bottom as the top. And today we are going to work with the examples one fourth and two thirds. One fourth, known as a quarter. One as a numerator. Four as a denominator. I am going to use a multiplier of five and do the same to the bottom as the top. One times five is. Five, and four times five is? Twenty. And so we can say one-fourth is the same as five-twentieths. Over here, I'm going to take one-fourth, and I'm going to use a multiplier of three. Same to the bottom as the top. One times three is three. Four times three is twelve. One-fourth is the same as three-twelfths because we did the same to the bottom as the top. On the bottom here, I have two-thirds. And I am going to multiply both of these by 10, and that will give me 20 thirtieths. And these are equivalent because we did the same to the bottom as the top, multiplier of 10. I'm going to take 2 thirds, and why don't I use 5 again? That's just a good round number. And we would have 10 fifteenths. And these are all the same because we did the same to the bottom as the top. Now, Mr. Bauman, what happens when you have a fraction like 3 ninths and 6 eighteenths where they just look a little bit bigger than the normal fraction? Well, you can actually use a divisor to make this fraction look a wee bit smaller. For this fraction, I know 3 goes into 3 and 3 goes into 9, so I'm going to use a divisor of 3. 3, very good, boys and girls. And I'm going to say 3 goes into itself one time and 3 goes into 9 three times, so three ninths is the same as one third. Over here I have six eighteenths, and I know that two goes into six, two goes into eighteen, three goes into six, three goes into eighteen, wait a second, six goes into six, and six also goes into eighteen, and six goes into itself once, and six goes into eighteen three times, and what do you know? One third is the same as three ninths, the same as six eighteenths. They are all equivalent fractions because we did the same to the bottom as the top, and everybody knows that equivalent fractions are indeed equal. And that is how you make equivalent fractions, everybody.